Hello, beautiful, and welcome to The Prosperous One. So where are you sabotaging your high-end coaching clients? Where are you sabotaging the results and outcomes of your high-ticket coaching offers? This past weekend, I was at a retreat, a virtual retreat with 25 other women coaches, not consultants, not trainers, not teachers, coaches. And the topic came up of high-ticket coaching offers, how you package and sell ultra high-ticket, for them it was $100,000, that's baseline whether it's $100,000, $250,000, a million, or even 10K offers, how do you package and sell them with the confidence and trust that allows you to attract the clients who are willing to invest in themselves at that level, that allow you to attract the clients who are willing to afford the offer, and that support you to work with high coaching clients who move fast and have zero excuses? Because that's the whole point. You want clients who are gonna raise their hands to ask for the sale before you get into a natural high ticket sales conversation. And this is where the issue of trust comes up. Each of these women at the retreat said to me, the reason why I'm undercharging, the reason why I'm not selling a $100,000 coaching offer, the reason why I'm selling a 10K or a 15K or 20K coaching offer is because I haven't created those results in my own life. And I said, when you were getting your certification, what did your trainers and your leadership coaches tell you about coaching? Is it a tool? Or is it a way to make somebody into yourself? So your job is not to make your client you. Your job is not to make your clients create what you have created. Your job is to give your clients what they want, to partner with them and co-create at the highest level that they want. So if they want $100,000 a month, or if they want to lose 100 pounds, you don't have the right to limit them to what you have done. It creates a lack of trust that makes them say no to you when you ask for the sale. Because if you don't have the capacity and the trust in yourself to hold space for your own business, for your own relationship, how can you hold, how can you have space? How can you hold space for them to do the thing they want? How can you create an exponential high to get coaching offer when you're limiting yourself to things you've done in the past and the results you have created in your health, your life, your relationship, or your business in the past. When I first started coaching, a couple of weeks into my coaching certification, my second client was a realtor, and she had been making $487,000 a year. And her goal for the next 18 months was to move to a million dollars. And she moved up to $900,000. At the time, I was making less than $2,000 a month in my coaching business, which is about $24,000 a year. The reason why I never thought or imagined for a moment that I couldn't coach her was because I knew that my coaching tools had nothing to do with me. I don't have to be divorced to be a great divorce coach. I don't need to have done the thing. That's an ego trip. That's self-validation. It has no place in the coaching industry. You do the thing that you have the skills and the experience and the training to do. And when your mindset believes it's true for you too, you will do the thing. The reason why you haven't done it is not because you cannot. It's because you have to believe it's true for her, but not true for you. That's all it is. So let's start to give clients the thing that matters to them most, the thing that's important to them most, the thing that they desire most, not the thing that we say we can do. And when we partner with Jesus Christ, with God, with the Holy Spirit in our business, we are partnering with the creator of the universe to support us, to guide our clients with wisdom, with integrity, with intuitive guidance. We're using midwife and all our magic, our skills, our experience, our training, our tools. And we're also creating money in our business so that we can invest at a higher level in ourselves so that we show up and do even bigger and better things in our business. Let us stop playing small so that we can attract smaller clients. This affects how much you charge and who you work with. One of the women at the retreat was a messaging a messaging coach, a marketing and messaging coach. And she said, I support women to tweak their messages so they can create 15K months. And I said to her, why 15K? And she said, because the most I've ever created in my coaching business is 18K. And I said, are you able to create, to support a woman with your tools, your experience and your training and you having more experience and more mastery in what you do? Can you support her to make a $200,000 a month? And she's like, well, of course I can, but I'm just scared to do it until you do it, you don't know that you can do it. 
until you believe that it's true for you, that you can coach someone with the tools that actually work, they're proven to work, they're skilled. That's why the coaching industry exists. It's not somewhere where you go, just ask somebody questions and help them feel better and make them feel worthy and confident. No, they're tools to create concrete things in your life, your health, your relationship, and your business. And when you sabotage your clients and try to make them you, and try to make them have the results that you have and limit them to the things your other clients have done, which is why I don't do testimonials, because then they see that testimonial for the person that has lost 100 pounds. Oh, so I can only lose up to 100 pounds. No, maybe you can lose 200 if that's what you want to do. Or I can only make $100,000 a month. Maybe you can make a million dollars a month. Why limit yourself to what Jackie did? Focus on each person as an individual, as a child of God, and treat them as such. What do you know? What have you learned? What tools do you have? What skills do you have that can answer her biggest prayer today? Not the prayer you wish she had, not the challenge you want to answer, but the one that she actually has. God has already given you everything you need to do all the work he's called you to do. Are you doing it while you still laying down on the floor playing chicken, thinking, I can't do it because I haven't done it, so I can't do it for her. It has nothing to do with you. Her goals, her challenges, her desires have nothing to do with you. They have to do with the offer, which is based on your tools, experience, skills, and training. That's it. Don't make this about you because when you do, you limit the outcome of your high scale coaching offers. When I'm co-creating offers with clients and they come into the prosperous room with a 10K offer, and I can see the, 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 the physical, the visual, the, the, the visible and invisible challenges that they go through to move that offer into a 100K offer or 45K offer or 65K offer or $250,000 offer simply because they think, I can't sell that because of what I've done in my life. Nothing you do is tied to you or the results you've already created. It's tied to your partnership with God, Jesus Christ, and the Holy Spirit and what you guys are about to do together. That's all it is. So go co-create at the highest level without limiting yourself or your clients because that's sabotage and that is fraud. That is fraud. Don't tie your clients' hands because you've tied your hands. Let me know how this lands you.